what a scorching day it's been today it's just seemed to have cooled down and we've got a touch of wind coming over so I thought perfect time to jump in the hammock and finally address what so many of you have been asking me to do the jib update now for any of you that are new to the channel or haven't a clue what I'm on about with jib I'll put a link in at the end of the video but I did a series called Jib the Vampire Bar Girl this is a girl, a Thai girl that lives in the UK that is the meanest worst girl I've ever known that you just never want to come across and it's a long and winding story well worth a watch if you've got some time but finally we've moved to Thailand and I can now bring you the updates on jib we couldn't ever elaborate um, on how we knew jib when we were in the UK but one of my wife's jobs in the UK her um, uh, main job was um, she was a, a cleaning technician at a local hospital and Jib worked in the same hospital on and off over the years the young gentleman that Jib sort of took money off gave money back um, and got involved with again is still an ongoing relationship now it's so long since I've done an update on Jib I'm beginning to lose all the names because every one of the characters I've had to give another name to but I'm pretty sure her previous husband was Peter um, and the young gentleman we're calling must be John <laughs> anyway the last time we left it Jib had got back to the UK she was working again and she was hooked back up with the young boy John she'd already taken money from his mother's estate when she passed and oh taken so much the last update before we moved she had got young John wrapped around her finger he had got rid of the mother's house and has purchased another house with the money left to him and the money he got left from everything the money he got back from Jib he purchased another smaller house in his name and Jib was living with him Jib had moved into the new house now at this point Jib and John she'd asked him to get married and unbelievably he said yes now he also works in the same place that my wife did as well and confided in my wife quite a bit so a lot of the information's come through there recently he'd agreed to marry Jib she's divorced she'd had a settlement from the previous husband if I remember rightly it was about 25k pounds 25,000 pounds and she'd passed that straight off to Thailand amongst all her running around and travels so with her current boyfriend let's call him John he's agreed to marry her now of course she's going to ask for Sin Sod. <laughs> of course she's going to want a home in Thailand, a new home and everything that goes along with Jib. The poor young man, she's in the last nine months, she's bought a new car in the UK on finance in his name and he's paying for it he's given her some money to get some land in Thailand 
and he'd sent her across to Thailand. I believe I might have told you before, but he'd come across, she'd come across to Thailand to secure some land, £10,000 in her pocket, as a sort of wedding present, and towards Sinsod. Let's, let's call it that. She's turned up in Thailand, done whatever, gone back to the UK, and a few weeks later, news comes that the land she's bought wasn't she paid the wrong person and she doesn't own the land and he doesn't own the land to cut a long story short she's then said to him she's gonna have to come back and pay another ten thousand pound for the land and he's agreed John John he's given her another ten thousand pound she's come back to Thailand she bought the same land make sense and secured some land to build a house on once they're married in the future just in case they ever want to come and live in Thailand he's a, an average salary worker not on a great deal of money he had the money from his mother he's got a house enough money to buy the house he's in now with no mortgage they're now planning wedding but one of the provisos of the wedding is that they get a bigger house in the UK. Jib wants a bigger house. The house they've got is a two bedroom house. She wants a four bedroom house. John has agreed, okay. No sin sod. You've had the 10, 20,000 pound for the land. He's actually come to his senses. You've had the £20,000 for the land, no sin sod, but we'll buy a bigger house, but he won't be able to pay out right, he'll have to get a mortgage. They've sold the house they're in, they found a four bedroom house, they've bought it, 50% paid for, 50% on mortgage. Pretty much all his savings gone. One of her provisos for the wedding is that they have a a nice wedding in the UK and that if he wants they'll come across and have a nice wedding in her village which village because I'm sure she's got two or three John's agreed another proviso is that the house goes in joint names even though the mortgage is his name the house goes in joint names you can see where this is going more alarm bells it's more of the same old jib same old tricks she's lining him up for a fall she is still to this day buying and selling gold buying in Thailand shipping to the UK selling online to Thai people around the UK or Asian people who like Thai gold selling through Facebook and pocketing the money. She hasn't been to Thailand for a good six months or so now from everything we've learned and the wedding is in the next couple of months. Currently right up to today, today's date, they are about two months from the wedding they're in the new four bedroom house, half mortgage, half paid for. Her name on the house, mortgage in his name. The latest news is she has reignited the previous divorce and she believes that the previous husband, Peter, the house prices have gone up so much and that he uh, didn't give honest pricing when they got divorced she believes that now she should be entitled to more money from the previous divorce because of house prices prices now she's got John to pay for a lawyer to re ignite that case even though she's got no chance on this planet of getting further money because it was all final settlement before done and dusted but she seems to think that she's going to reignite a court case 
to get more money from the previous husband. Still no contact with the daughter at all. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. The tribe. From what I'm learning now, the tribe is back in the same area as before. You remember they left the area, they moved, went not far away, they've come back, they still had property. We thought they'd sold it, but no. Another business is popping up as we speak and they have moved back in the area. You know Jib's gonna get involved with that, but to what extent? And because we are now in Thailand, we're really coming to an end of the Jibs series because we've lost our contact because we're here. We won't have any more information uh, coming through. So it's sort of a, a goodbye Jib, end of Jib series. Unless one of Mem's old friends says something um, we're not going to know what happens next. Will we ever see her in Thailand? I doubt it because she's a different area. Uh, unless something pops up on Facebook, which we'll obviously we'll have a look. I really think that is the end of Jib the Vampire Bar Girl. It's been a great old series. It's given you an insight into a really bad girl some of the tricks illegal and illegal she got up to but I promised you I would bring you the best and latest update I could and that is it there are a couple of other love stories in the pipeline on the channel and there is another story about another girl that I might start in the near future who has some sort of jib tendencies let's put it like that uh, but it also a little bit meaner and slightly more of a grand scale as well haven't yet thought of a a name for that girl or a name for the series but if you would like me to go on to that series at some point please put comments below but I really think that's the end of Jib so I hope that answers some of the questions that you guys have been sending me loads of messages when's the Jib update that's the update and that's probably the final update a bit sad really it was a a good old long series we went through what two series with Jib and if you haven't watched it um, it's it's worth a watch worth a watch but as time goes by I'm starting I, so many stories the love stories and different series every time I give you a series I have to come up with new names for each person so I don't reveal their identities and uh, I can reveal I've totally lost contact with Michael from the Mike and Kung series totally disappeared had no emails for over six months now no contact at all which is a shame so I hope he's okay and if you are watching this, Michael, you know who you are. Email me or send me some message. I'll put a link in one of these four videos afterwards for the Jib series. If you haven't watched it, have a look. And I'll catch you on the next video soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.